Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 12 of the Artisan Workshop modding series and today we are going to finish our combat portion of the mod with one last bit of polish so we are going to add sound effects to our health potion and adding sound effects is both uh, easy and kind of difficult and it's easy because you don't have to do actually that much and it's difficult because it doesn't actually work the way the documentation says it, it should work or not exactly i mean pretty much it works but so there is official documentation for adding sound effects to your module and we will follow this pretty closely and another resource that was helpful um, is this thread modding sound and music uh, on the Dell Worlds forums so you can check this out although I don't think there's too much new information but in the comments I found out the reason why it didn't work the way this uh, documentation says it should work so this thread was useful and maybe it will be useful for debugging your problems as well so it says that you can to add sound effects you can copy to your module module sounds and module sounds xml from the native so we can start by doing that part so let's open uh, our mod here together with the native so my mod is artisan beer so let's copy module sounds directory here and let's go into module data and let's copy module sounds let's first start by looking at what module sounds is the module sounds is of course an xml file um, where they defined these are sound event names and then they link them to some sort of sound uh, sound file so in this case a nog file and if you go into module sounds here you can find the example sound motors og which is the which is the path that is referenced in the module sounds but the part that is not documented is that on top of module sounds xml you also need this project uh, mountain plate project file so let's copy both of these module sounds xml and project file to our mod let's try to edit the project file and see why this is also required so this is what the project.mb broad file looks like and here they specify a bunch of different files that are for one reason or another not loaded through the submodule XML uh, XML loading system. So here, one of these lines will be module sounds. So this is what we actually need for the game to load our module sounds XML. And if we don't copy the project MB broad file, we will not get the game will not try to load our module sounds. So we can just remove everything else here. So this file in the end will be just the XML base tag with our module sounds XML line, and that's everything we need. But without this, the game will not load our module sounds, even if this is mentioned nowhere in the documentation. So after we have done that, then we can just come to our module sounds file, and then we can link uh, different files, different sound files to different sound events that we can use in our code so let's try to get some sort of sound effect for our drinking so to get a sound effect i will just go and go to freesound.org and search for something like drink gulp and then so this first popular one sounds pretty good so let's just go here and the license here is creative commons zero so it doesn't require attribution necessarily but i think it's uh I think we can attribute this as well. So we had in our readme attribution for later use. We can put this. And link to this thing as well. So now we can just copy this file into our modules, module sounds. And let's call it Drinking, drinking sounds, for example. And here, here, 
here in module sounds XML, we can replace one of these. We can replace one of these lines with our own sound. For example, artisan beer slash drink will be the event name. And here for the path, we need a drinking sound dot twelve. And the sound files can be either og or wav that you can see here in the documentation. So the so either og or wav. And then we also need um, sound category. It says here in the documentation that the sound category is somewhere. Uh, so it says that in the documentation it says that all sounds must have a category, or otherwise, the mo or otherwise the sound will not be played if you don't have the proper category. But I'm not exactly sure how any of this works, and it's not really clear. So we'll just go with something that works. So let's put like mission voice here. This is definitely, if you look at the categories, this will be human and human grunt. So that seems pretty ac accurate. And there's also, you can also specify here that your sound is 2D, but I was not able to get the 2D sounds to work at all. So we will stick with 3D sound for now, but maybe you can get the 2D sounds to work, or maybe they only work in like a UI or something else. And I was and they don't work in combat. I'm not 100% sure. But this, I think we can get to work. So then the next part is just to get this thing to work in your code. And to do that, um, here in the module sounds XML that we copied from native, they already have uh, example code. So let's just try to copy this. And I want actually, actually I want this else part. I want to play it in the main agent position. That seems good for me. So if we come to the mission view, first of all, we want the sound index. And we can get this at the beginning of the mission. And we called our sound effect artisan beer drinking sound drinking artisan beer drink. Oh, actually, I should put this in the view model. So let's move this stuff into the view model because our drinking is now there. It doesn't matter too much. I need to move this here. And then when we do the drinking, we need to put this stuff. So we need a sound event created from the sound index and scene. I guess we can get the scene. The main engine we can get from the mission that we have. And scene, can we get scene from mission? Yes. Okay, so that works fine for us. So this should be good enough. I guess only thing we need to do at this point is just go test if this works. So let's do that now. So now if we go and take a sip, we should get a sound effect for that. If everything is working properly. So we do indeed get a drinking sound. I thought the sound effect is a bit longer. I wonder why it plays only like the beginning of the sound. So this is the small issue with the sounds that there is no way to debug any of this stuff. I guess that usually happens with all sounds anyway. 
But isn't that super weird? Hi, me from the future here. So at this point of trying to record this episode, it became increasingly clear that I had no idea what I was doing, and the recording became less like an actual tutorial and more like just me trying random things. So in the end, I kept trying random things for about an hour, and now I think I have a bit better understanding of the different sound categories and the different ways to play sound. So I'm still not an expert on how this sound system works, but I can try to give you at least a bit more coherent explanation of what is going on. So you saw me try out sound effects like this, where the sound category was mission voice, and it turns out that sounds in this category are limited in their length, and you saw it plays about the first second of the effect, and then the effect just cuts off. And these categories actually determine various parameters behind the scenes about the sounds. So behind the scenes, these categories will control stuff like the radius of the sound, how far away the sound can be heard, and also how quickly the sound will fall off with distance from the sound source, and also things such as is the sound actually 2D or 3D. So this attribute is 2D. It says here in the documentation that this determines if the sound's spatial properties will be used or not, but that's not 100% accurate, because depending on the category, you might still need to be close to the sound source to hear it. So even if you set a voice in, say, mission voice category to be 2D, you still won't hear that sound unless you're close to the sound source. So I think a couple here are actually 2D sound categories, but so far, the only one that I've actually tried that works with the 2D sound playing is this category UI. But even for the 3D sounds, such as Mission Voice Shout, setting it as 2D will disable some parts of the spatial properties. So for example, it will disable the spatial fall off of the sound. So voice in the category Mission Voice Shout set with is 2D true will not fall off with distance. At some point it will cut out completely so that you won't hear it, but there is no spatial fall off. And I guess it will also be missing some of its velocity related properties. But to get an actual 2D sound, you need to put your sound effect into a category such as UI. And also some of these categories are just kind of weird. So let's try for example Mission Siege Loud. So let me put here Mission Siege Loud. Let me just go into the game. I will use the item now. So, so you see that just putting your sound effect into this category, it actually plays some sound effect on top of the sound that you provide. So that's kind of weird. But for this drinking sound, I don't actually need any of the spatial properties of the sound because the sound is coming from inside our character. So we can just put this into the sound category of UI. And I will also specify is 2D to be true. And here in our code, we have at least three options of how we can produce the sound. So we could keep doing this um, event ref. Now that our sound is actually 2D, uh, we don't need to set the position anymore. So this would work and it would play this sound regardless of where on the map we are. And here in the tail world's provided code example, there was actually a second way of making a sound. And they said that this is actually a better way to play one-shot sound. So this is mission make sound. Let me comment out this first method for now. And this is pretty much exactly the same as the event ref, except the parameters are slightly different. So in this method, we need all the same things. We need the sound index. And, and depending on your sound category, you will also need to give this thing position. But since we have true 2D sound, we can just leave this as zero. And for the rest of the parameters, I can show what the argument names are, but to be honest, I don't understand what these control. So their sound can be predicted, is reliable, and then two arguments for related agents. So this would work and produce our 2D sound as well. And we can quickly test that. But since we have our sound in an actual 2D sound category now, we can actually, we can just use play sound 2D as well. So this will have simplified arguments. Since we don't need to know the position of the sound or in what mission we are right now. So this is, I think, the code that I will actually end up with. So I can just clear all of this stuff out. There are also other ways you could be making sound. 
you could fill the world with sound emitters in the scene editor. So you could have props or prefabs with sound emitters, or you could add sounds to animations. And a bunch of that stuff is explained in this uh, forum post, modding sound. So if you are interested in that stuff, you can go read here. I also discovered that you can make sounds with information manager. So here you could do add quick information. And this will generate notifications, such as the one that you get when you level up. So you will get a stylized banner with your message. And also you can provide sound events, which will work just like the sound you hear when you level up. And for this, the sound also has to be in a 2D sound category, such as UI. But I think that is all for this episode. So the takeaway here is that you have to be careful about which sound category you choose. And you have to be kind of careful that the category you choose actually matches how you want to use your sound. But I suspect that for most things, unless you really want the 3D spatial aspects of the sound, the UI category will be just fine. But that's all for now, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.